Hi, Sarah. Hi, Elaine. How is everybody? Everybody got your jammies on? Happy New Year. Everybody got their jammies? Jam, jam, jams. Jammy, jammy, jams. I'm going to bring it closer. We don't have Jeremy tonight, unfortunately. He's not feeling well. He's got a migraine, and he, I think he caught Brian's cold. So he opted out of this one. Hi. If you're new here, my name is Lady Badger. I sell handbags and accessories. <laughs> I sell handbags and accessories. Let me know. Karen, let me know if you guys can hear me okay. So if you have any questions, everything's down in the description box. But feel free to send an email. Hi. Where, hi? <laughs> I hope he feels better soon, too. He... You know, he he had a stroke last year. Jeremy did. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, so if he overexerts himself or he gets too upset or Brian's being a little much, it causes a migraine, and I think that's what happened. Hey, stop. Dogs are already starting. They've been quiet, and now that I turn that camera on, they're starting. So, but yeah. Hi, Purse Delighted. How are you? You guys, I pulled another tote. Um, I was going to do crystal, but Jeremy got sick, so to pull them all out, I did find one Waterford piece. I have lots of it, so I can show you. I know you've been asking for it. He is. He's on Warfarin. He is, and it's been a year, and he they still have not regulated him properly. The Warfarin really messes with him, but he takes Warfarin. So he just went and got himself some Tylenol because all I have is ibuprofen and you can't take that. Yeah. But I'm ready. Got the monsters. Got the pajamas. Where is Robin? Got the jam jams on. Mm. So you're kind of stuck with me. <laughs> so... I, I found some surprises. I found um, a purse that you guys have been trying to get from me. I think, what, almost two years now? <laughs> we'll see. Super rare. And that's a good surprise. So what I'm going to do a little bit tonight since I don't have Jeremy. Um, oh, you don't have to monitor it? I, we have to monitor Jeremy. Um... He's had a few, several episodes since then. I can't regulate him, and that's one of the major reasons why I want him here. One of the major reasons. So, I found a fun tote. It's got some things in it. So, and because, you know, nothing opens up till Tuesday, I'm a little behind on the shipping again, but there's some things I wanted to clean up. I have... I'm finishing up somebody's long chomp that they have lay on layaway, and I found a really good tote. And I have not one, but two, two two Dooney Smiths. So that means now I have three, and I will let go of one or two of them because I do have the crimson one, or is it crimson or cranberry? I'm not sure which one is. Hi, Pixie Pixie. Peggy. Um, that's brand new with tags. So I want to keep one of them. So if you guys are interested in these, I will show one. If you've seen one, you've seen them all. Trust me. I do have one that's new with tags. Now, if somebody's interested in the one with new with tags, I will decorate it. I will send it out with a cool strap. But being new with tags, that one would be all of three hundred dollars. I'm just kind of warning you now. These are my pre-loved ones, and you guys remember the one I found in a tote. <laughs> I didn't even know I had. So surrounded, the fun things are happening. This is the Alma that our Ann, you guys are familiar with Ann, was selling because. It was, I don't know why. I guess she gave me a great deal on it. 
Um, she said it needed a lot of love. This is after one treatment. Dawn, I got the Ann Alma. And look, this is after one treatment. It's still a little wet. So I want to handle it with kid gloves. But have lightened it significantly. So it's still got some spotting there. But it's almost, almost taken care of. This is with one treatment. Look how beautiful it is now. Still has the wear on the zippers that she was worried about. I'm not fussed about that. I don't know if, about you guys. Um, the zipper pulls are genuine. They're on there. If they work, I'm not fussed. I did get some Brasso tomorrow. I will. I love how this one has a crossbody. Like Brasso, and I will polish that all up tomorrow. And the inside of this, oh, you can't. Look how beautiful the inside of this bag is. Pristine. So, with that being said, With that being said, that was Vicky. Ooh, Vicky's jumping on. Woohoo! Here comes Vicky. So there you go. So the little tips and tricks that I showed you guys. You can turn an ugly, ugly Louie into a swan after just a few treatments. Hi Vicky. This is after one treatment. Still working on that. There it is. You see it's still got some work. The handles. Check it out, Vicki. <laughs> so there she is. She is a work in progress. Work in progress. I also got today you guys recognize this don't you ah, the Kurt Geiger the big big old Kurt Geiger whoop, 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 I did. And I even put it in the cancellation chart. I love, 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 love that bag. So I will be moving into that one. So this arrived today. The beautiful Kurt Geiger. New with tags. Got from Hadrian. Loving it. So I think that I'm going to use this bag for the formal event. Wear it with the Chanel sparkly sweater. I think I'll sport the Kurt Geiger. And I'm just going to wear a pair of black dress pants. You know, whatever fits. And then I got to get some nice shoes for it. So, and then I think my outfit will be... I know. And it's big. So, yeah. Also, guess what arrived? Balenciaga's here. Ooh. I'm still waiting on that other bag that he is rehabbing for me. I'm so excited. So I hope he goes crazy with it. It was low boots. Well, it would actually have to be flat. You guys remember, I've got a pretty severe case of neuropathy in my feet. So heels are not suggested. So... So it has its issues. I am going to diet. And I'm not just going to diet. I'm going to do the body, one color. And then I am going to do a contrasting, very flattering color. I don't, I don't want to go wild with a Balenciaga. So I'm thinking maybe 
a chocolate brown, and maybe some black accents. Something that'll look beautiful, but not ruin the bag. I don't want to make it so crazy and wild that I wouldn't want to carry it. That was a, that was a Balenciaga. So. Mm, I can't do an ombre, and let me tell you why. I am not, I'm new to the painting game. I don't want to go there. So, you know, uh, so I don't want to do anything too advanced, guys, because of my skill level. I know where my skill level is. Ombre is not, I, I, it, nope. Because I will be devastated if, if it gets ruined. Oh, okay, tone on tone. Okay. Okay. You know, Vicky, I might even wait and bring the bag with me when I come and see you. And we can rehab it together and maybe video it. Because there's no rush. I got plenty of other projects around here. <coughs> to keep me busy. Hi, Odelia. Do you want to do that? Because I'm I'm, I'm kind of self-taught, so my skill level is not, not there. So unless I am, I mean, I can clean it, I can prep it, I can stain it. Um, yeah, scares the crap out of me, man. I'm telling you. So I got those two. So... And, of course, you guys know that 99% of the bags in this tote here are giant. So, I've got a nice weekender here. Okay. So, what else have we got in this tote? Yeah. I have all the things. You know I got all the things. I just don't know how to use all the things. Um, on, a, on a good enough level, the befitting... My one and only Balenciaga in, in my collection. So. Okay. All right. I'm. Oh, wowee. <laughs> you guys are ready for a treat. <gasps> oh. I found a vintage Dooney that I didn't remember that I had. There's a vintage Dooney in here. And this is, this needs to be fixed. I tried to clean, when I was testing my, <laughs> um, I was testing my concoction to clean off an ink stain and ruin, I put a boo-boo there. This is a Marc Jacobs collection bag. So I have to fix that. So I'm not even gonna bother you guys with that. Okay, so the rest on the bottom here are probably project bags or what have you. So let me, I was only able to pull a couple out and get them ready for you. So let's just get started. <coughs> the one I found is probably still a little wet on the bottom, guys. But I have the large Laura tote. The extra large I'm working on. I'm working on a few extra large. Which one, sweetie? Hi, Marilyn. How are you? Which one? Oh, the... Are you talking about the Marc Jacobs? I've got a lot of extra larges that I'm working on. Hi, both Karens. <laughs> Be more specific, Marilyn. I've got a thousand extra large bags that I'm working on. So I have 
And the bottom is still probably a little wet, guys. A little wet. I just cleaned it. It's dry for the most part, but not completely. But this is the Laura Tote in blue. Very nice. And again, I lost my tape measure, guys. I don't know. Oh, it might be over there. And this is nice. Oh, and Dee Dee, honey, yes, I did get your message. And that is the decision, sweetie, I am going to let you make. Okay? It's um, entirely up to you. Investments are investments, my darling. So you need to make that decision and you let me know what you decide. Okay. The inside is super duper duper clean. There you go. And she is one eight three three five. So she's got some slippies and an open pocket. Here is her free with the strap in the way. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay. So there you go. I found this bag in different colors on eBay. Um, they were in sad, sad shape. It, they were $99 on eBay, $189 on Posh. What the heck is up with Posh? I mean, seriously, man, 20%, okay. But if they're running for $99 on a secondhand market, why is it $100 more on Poshmark? I don't know. There you go. There's no cracking, no funny business or anything like that on the patent leather. I'm only asking 75, guys. And she's going to smell real fresh because I gave her a good clean. She's still drying. So that's... Now, Vicky is a big fan of Poshmark. She uses Poshmark, but I just... I don't know how, you know, some of them can justify... Their pricing, it, it, it's ridiculous. So, Vicky doesn't do that. She doesn't gouge, you guys know. But, yeah. Oh, the Louis Vuitton? Oh, I don't know. Um, I would get with me, I'd say next week when I'm done treating it. I don't want to mess with it too much because the leather is still very wet. So there you go. So this is number one. Or right, three times. My orders got canceled because they sold on. Oh. You know, I was on a live. And they didn't like the number. There's nobody bid against me. They didn't like the number. And they turned around and canceled the sale. I think... If you're going to advertise low starts and stuff like that, you run that risk. You don't just cancel the sale when you don't like it. So, you know, Macari is not an avenue that I've really checked out. Um, I'm not real familiar with Macari. So bag number one is 75 if you are interested. That come out of that tote. Yeah, I, I, yeah, well, Vicky reckons it's worth it. Um, I mean, I'm happy to list on Poshmark, and I know they take 20% and all that, but, you know, when you, when you have more than a certain amount, they want you to buy um, an extra shipping label. What they don't tell you, it's not $3. It charges you for another sale, so that extra shipping label cost me $17. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Not for a crossbody. I'm not paying $17 for a crossbody. So I disputed that. Matter of fact, I canceled the sale there. I got mad. I'm not, I'm not doing that. So <clears throat> just not doing it. 
you guys have seen this before. It's been a long time. She's large. She's in charge. She's red. And she has the separate area in the bottom. Miss B. Mikowski. Beautiful leather. She is big. I should get my tape measure, shouldn't I, you guys? We just got started, Jennifer. Just got started. Oh, what'd she say about 22%? You have to up... <laughs> well, Marisol and Dawn, them guys, absolutely. But it's not that I'm a cheapskate. It's just... You know, I would rather... There's still a tag. I have worn these pajamas how many times? And it still has a tag. Dork. No wonder. I'm always like, what is scratching my neck? Here's the bottom. Separate conceal area. It's not really concealed with the zipper, but you know what I'm saying. You won't have to worry about reaching for it and grabbing that when you're trying to pull something out. It's got the phone pocket in the back. And then your inner pocket. Your tags right here. So you got two open pockets and a zippy pocket on the other side. Nice and clean. This is beautiful. It's not real heavy. It's actually very, very lightweight. Bright crimson red. It's really cool. Love the quilting on it. Oh, that goes on the bottom. Let's see. So the inner pocket goes to right about here to the zipper part. So that's how much you have in this pocket area. Hey, Elaine. Sandy D. You calling number one, huh? There you go. It is yours, my friend. So this bottom pocket. I mean, that is just ginormous. Look at that. Think of all the goodies you can hide. In there. You know, if something's going to be messing around in your purse or whatever, or get in there and try to steal your, your change or candy. <laughs> it's a whole separate area. <laughs> and there you go. So this number two, B. Mikowski Red, with a separate zippered pocket. Bottom is 65. Here's your corners, because it's my first day. So I'm not showing you properly. Gold tone hardware is perfect. This bag is in amazing condition. Oh, yay. Thank you, Miss Sandy. So you weren't calling number one. You were putting it in there for me. Appreciate you. Okay. <clears throat> yay. Thank you, Sandy. Appreciate you. So one more time I have two Dooney Smiths. I generally ask... For my Smiths, two twenty-five. dollars beautiful leather. Tonight, I will put them out there for $200 each if you are interested, because I'm going to keep one. If you're interested in the one with brand new and tags, the red one in the bedroom, I would bring it out, but that one is $300. These are not retailing for $498. They're just insanely expensive. Insanely expensive. But the Dooney Smiths tonight are on sale for $200 for the used. For the pre-loved, I should say. <laughs> Number four is a special treat. Do I have ramen lovers? 
Any Brahmin lovers? I still have the new tags Brahmin tote. Isn't she pretty? Yep, yeah, she's brand new with tags. The only time I've taken her stuff out of there, she's even still got that line, taking her stuff out of there, is to show it. It's got pocket here in the back. And this one, it does come with this dust bag. It comes with all its goodies. Silica packet still. <laughs> There's the dust bag. And it comes with the removable pouch. So you're getting that as well. Which is, it's big, it's substantial. <laughs> so, who's she calling a goofball? Probably me. <laughs> The last time I showed this bag, I think I showed it for $225. I'm going to do $195 tonight. The extra pouch is cool. But she's $195 tonight. I will show you down in there. If you want me to remove the sidewalls, I prefer not to. You, but there you go. See down in there. Perfect. On one side. You do have your zip. There's the sides. Put that back over there. Move the other side. I am a dork. There's your tag. Retails for $3.65. Brahmin. large and in charge it is spectacular <laughs> these are hitting me in the face <laughs> in there She's got a snap, magnetic snap closure. Beautiful. And feetsies. <laughs> there you go. So she's on sale for $195. Next you guys have seen before. Also large and in charge. Is a big old pink Kate Spade tote. So whatever that smudge was on the back that you guys seen before, I got it off. So she is beautiful. I'm sorry. They're on sale tonight for two hundred pre loved. Miss Hattie. Which one you know? We've got the chocolate. And then the brownie greeny one. It's a neat color. It's like a brownie greeny olivey. It's a lot older. Speed. Last time I listed this Kate Spade, I listed it for $90. It's $80 tonight on sale. Oh, here, let me get in the shot. <laughs> it's beautiful tone. Zip top closure. So it will zip closed. Very feminine, very girly. Who 
very large. So this must be a tote bag. Because there are some large things coming out of that. There you go. It is a cute case made and it's butter soft. Butter, butter soft. She is biggin'. A great big one. So she's on sale for 89 I'm sorry, what? The the B the B Mikowski? Right? The B. Mikowski? This one? Okay. All right. What else do I have for you guys? I pulled a Michael Kors. Small little crossbody. Snake print. Suede. We know I just love suede. There you go. I got you, Angela. So this is manufacturer retail price was two nineteen. Cute crossbody. Now this is suede. It's very nice. I do believe. Last time I showed this, I showed it for 80 bucks. I'm going to drop it 10 bucks, put it on sale for 70. Brand new with tags. Beautiful chain. Turn it opens up. It's got big old pocket in the back. The inside has one, two, three, four, five, six card slots in a big zipper pocket and an open pocket on the other side. This is not a Michael Michael Kors. Yeah, it might be. I don't think it is. It is a Michael Michael Kors. Beautiful in there. Place for your coin slots. Or, uh, Card slots, good grief, rookie. There you go. Beautiful bag. There we go. Beautiful. I think I do still have the bigger purse. <clears throat> and this is one we've all seen it's 30 bucks if you want it brand new tags it's the bot gear backpack i think everybody in the world has one of these in leather and nylon i don't know if it's real leather I don't know. <laughs> Hi, Cindy. How are you? There you go. It's a little backpack. It says Bot Care New York on the back strap. Be a great little gift. 30 bucks. These pockets function beautifully. I can get all my fingers in there. And inside we have silica packets. Okay. Beautiful. 
Jennifer, you want this one? It's a cute bag. I've had it forever. There you go. It is all yours, Jennifer. Coming at ya. Cool backpack. All right. Anybody like fry? I have a beautiful fry bag. Crossbody. The strap is not removable, but it is adjustable. Does have a removable keychain. It's got studs in the front. It has a zipper pocket underneath it. This one is like a grayish blue slate kind of color. I want french fries. <laughs> Beautiful on the inside. Love the studded detail on the front. Let's try. Beautiful bag. Now the fry bag. They're all over the place on eBay. And then more expensive on Poshmark. So not going to go there. <laughs> So if you are interested in the fry bag, it is $60 tonight. I think last time I showed this, I asked 70 for it. I think, yeah. So if you like fry, here you go. Let's open her up. Dropping my stuff. There you go. I think I originally, back in the day, I do believe I bought this from Hadrian way back when. It's quite substantial. There you go. Thumbs up. You like what I'm throwing out there? <laughs> so we're going to go 60 on the fry bag. <clears throat> also, I do have another Steve by Steve, Stephen by Steve Madden collection tote. I forgot I had this. I do believe this is one of the first purchases I made from our good friend Chris and D. Before I even knew you guys existed, before... Now, this is different from the other one. I found this exact tote on Poshmark for $175. There's a black one on eBay for $99. Check this out. Whoops. This is a cool bag. Genuine leather. Nice, real soft leather. Didi, it's really lightweight. I love the color. It is true to color, guys. Jeez, uh-oh. Did something happen? Don, are you okay? Eat these. Straps are adjustable. I missed it completely. What happened? Somebody tell me before I freak out. Rushies. Don's daughter. I'm scrolling up. <gasps> she wasn't in it though, right? Yeah, I told you. I don't know what's going on, you know, because the open pocket and the zipper pocket above the Steve. 
is Jeremy's apartment was broken into, and they didn't take anything except for two magic card decks and his gun. They didn't take the bullets. They didn't take him being a gamer. They didn't take anything else. They didn't take his consoles. Nothing. So, you know, I don't know what's wrong with people. Seriously, man. So, I'm going to offer this up at $100 cheaper than what they got it for on Posh. So, if you're interested in the leather, Steve by Steve Madden, it's $75. And it's beautiful. Extremely lightweight, but the leather is just so soft. So I do have that other Steve by Steve Madden. I didn't realize I had two. <laughs> this is a cool tote. Really cool. I love how it's adjustable. Studs. Beautiful. He did. He went over to Rural King where he bought it. The the sports store where he bought it. Grabbed all the information. Took it to the police. The police are now got it registered. So if they try to pawn it or anything like that. Um, it will. Uh, yeah, it'll come up stolen. Okay. All right. Let's see what else. All right. So that's all the purses that I had ready for you guys. So now this is where I'm just showing you what's in toots. You know, I hate thieves. I, you know, I work hard. I, I, I work more than full time at, at a job. And then this is almost full time for me and I work hard, you know, and people just come and, you know, anybody need a weekender? I have got a huge Polo Ralph Lauren thing. It's in a canvas. It's got the big horsey on it. I did clean this up before I packed it because I remember it didn't look so nice. It is now gorgeous. So, I mean, I don't understand why people do that. I, it is massive, massive weekender. I mean, for sure. So, it's in pretty good shape. It is Polo by Ralph Lauren. You can cinch it. It will snap on the sides. And now that I cleaned it up, it looks amazing. It did. It it had some kind of scientific experiment on it. <laughs> I don't have enough stuffing. I used the stuffing for the surprise bag. So there you go. So if anybody is interested... What are you checking with me? Did I miss something? Yeah, surprise. So number 10 is going to be The Polo Ralph Lauren giant tote. <laughs> and I'm only asking 20 bucks for that. If anybody wants it.
it's closed. Oh, okay. Sam, do you want this? It's massive, girlfriend. But it's lightweight. I don't have... You'll have to... I would put a crossbody on this. Yeah, I mean, if anybody has any questions or whatever, email me. Sam Cheryl. Girl, you're going to love that. I mean, it it looks really good. I did clean it before I stored it, you know. Sometimes I'm efficient. <laughs> All right, let's see here. There was something up with this bag. Oh, well, that's an easy fix. So this started coming apart here. But this is a Marc Jacobs bag. Why is it in there? Now this one is one of those. It's pink and brown. It's not leather. It's some kind of canvas. Um, I do have some leather mender. I can put this back together. Not a huge deal. So, hmm. Has a crossbody, but I don't think, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a mark by Mark Jacobs. And I don't remember where I got this, to be honest with you. It's been a hot minute. I don't, have I even showed you guys? Not sure. Oh. That's perfect for travel. You put anything in, you fill that up and you're not going to be able to carry it. Might want to put a crossbody on that baby. Woo. So, that's here. So, this is a Mark by Mark Jacobs. It's not leather, it's that coated canvasy stuff. It's cute. It says Mark by Mark Jacobs on the strap there. I don't think that that's real leather on the strap. It could be. I don't know. But I'm I'm gonna offer you guys thirty five. I will fix this. I will use adhesive and put that back down. Thirty five for a mark by Mark Jacobs satchel with a crossbody because it's not leather. It's not something I would pick up. I don't remember ever getting it. So I'm going to put canvas satchel. Let's do 35 on it. All right, Don, I will get her all. Yeah, I do have some of that leather adhesive. That might be why it's in the tote. I mean, it's cute. That's a nice all-weather thing. You'd be able to take that outside. Yeah. True to color. It's cute. I just don't see myself picking something like that up. It might have come with maybe a bundle or something or that I had bought when I bought like a whole box or out of a mystery box or something. Had to. Because they... <clears throat> That's not something I picked up. Oh, I have a little vintage yellow thing. Let me see here. I don't have anything to stuff it with to actually show you. There you go. I don't know if you guys have seen this one. This is coach number 1853, so it's not a factory outlet bag. M is a Mary 04Q-1853. Zip top closure. It's a bit of a cleaning, so it is vintage. Will it be vintage, what, in a few days? <laughs> right? What's the rule? Hmm? Shh. 
She's going to go on a two-week cruise? Okay, everybody play nice tonight. Love you. So this needs a bit of a cleanup. But it's a nice vintage bag. It's Coach. You guys got me all worried. I love you all. No fighty fighty. Let's play nice. Let's sit up all night. Well, most of the night because you know I'm old. I got an open pocket. The creed is right below the zipper pocket. Oh, look. Woohoo. Other side. So it is yellow. So need a bit of a clean. But then you really can't even tell. Here we go. Like right in this corner needs a bit of a clean. But I'll stuff her up, clean her up, make her look nice. So if anybody's looking for vintage, we'll go $40 on this one. Oh, everybody good? We're going to go vintage, yellow, coach. <laughs> <laughs> we all love ya. So there's no rips, holes, or tears or anything. It's just, I want to see what I can do with that corner. But it is, she is vintage. It is really great leather. Yeah. Yes, we do. You know, there was one time, you guys remember, I broke the rule once. What were we bidding? What were we, Hadrian had something. And Adrian's like, Sean, he didn't wear it. I was like, no, I was just throwing it out there. You know, kind of like a like a puppy, you know, marking my territory. And everybody thought that was funny. So I broke the rules once for a bag. You guys remember which one that was? <laughs> okay, I have another coach here. It's a big one. in it we're gonna clearance this <laughs> we're gonna clearance this one for one it's an older style it's not, it's not a style that I'm a fan of but you know I got the beautiful Mark Jacobs for beautiful Don Hill to fix we got this going on the Balenciaga is gonna wait until I'm with Vicky so <sighs> Alright, so this is a big cutout coach tote. It is a Ziploc closure. Big here. The outside is really nice. And it's got open pockets. It's got pockets in the front here. It says coach on the silver hardware. You guys ready? It's got a hang tag. Right there, $35, because I don't want to clean up the ink. So we're going to do this one for $35. It is a big, beautiful coach tub. I just don't, I don't want to, I don't want to do that. Clarence coach tub. It's like a floral, floral cutout. They're no big deal, but, you know, you know. I just don't, I don't want to. I don't want to do that. But I will if I have to. What is that, number 13? Thank you. <laughs> Clearance cut out. Coach Toad. Yeah, we need to get the pen holders. Okay. I have this bar. There's bird. Let's see. Who makes this bad boy? This is like a seafoam kind of green. Ah! It's a big old B. Mikowski. Let me just have her. Man! You know, I've been showing that tote. Nobody likes that tote. You 
you know, that couch tote is going to show up in somebody's box. <laughs> somebody's just going to end up with it. So, oh, I remember what was up. It's got a little nick here in the edge coating stuff. Yeah, this is here. She's a bit dirty. She needs some help. So maybe I'll paint this one too. Maybe I'll practice on this one. What do you guys think? You like it? I'll make you a good deal on it. It is. It's heavier now. The it, the hardware is significant. She is dirty, ish looking. So she's you know, but she is significant. She's beautiful. You could probably clean her right up. It's and her color is like a like a greeny gray. Like it's hard to explain what that is. Awesome. I received a, did you send something from Amazon? Ooh, Sipo. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. So if, if you're interested in this, you know, 40 bucks. It's big, it's beautiful. I was just gonna paint it probably black or whatever. Number two, I do believe it did. Yeah, the B. Mikowski? Yeah. I was wondering, because it's right here. I was going to ask everybody. Thank you. I received a selfie um, tripod. And then there's a thing on top where I can hang a little light. That's going to come in handy. Did you send this? It come anonymous, so I didn't know. Happy New Year's, Anne. Thank you, Karen. That was a nice surprise. I did open it. It's right here. It's like a tripod. I'm trying to figure it out. Jeremy did it easy. I'll have to I'll have to play with <laughs> but thank you. I was mess I was messing with it. Um, I will figure it out, but it's going to be neat because it's going to, because I, I can do the selfies with it. I can, it make me more mobile. I can put it behind, like when I don't have Jeremy in that, because I can put it there and then I can use the laptop, but he has to show me how to, how to work it properly. But thank you very much. That was a really nice surprise. And D, I did a treatment on it. How's it looking? And here's the handles. And, yeah. Yeah, and this is your bag that you sent me. I this is one treatment. Still working on some of the darker spots. There's the handles. I'm gonna do the hardware in that tomorrow. 
yeah, it's coming up real nice. Real nice. It's still kind of want to mess with it too much because the leather is still a bit wet. The Alma? I'll have to... I'll grab my... Um, thank you. And the deal you gave me was amazing. Thank you. So... The sea foam, as is B. Mikowski, as is 40 bucks. I don't know if that was already in there. Do you guys remember this? This is real python. I found it, Vicky. It is a backpack. So, my sister was here when Hadrian was showing this. And she has, I, you guys remember Sherry. She has scoliosis. And she has to take, you know, like morphine patches and that. It's pretty bad. She's got the, the rods down her back. And with the chains alone if she put anything in it yeah snake it um it's going to be too heavy for her she can't have anything bouncing on her back so she can't wear it i'm gonna try to pull the insides out here we go so this is from I need to read it. Well, that was a mistake. I don't know if you guys can read it. I don't know. I'm not sure who the maker is. I can't read it. It's too small. So, we got this from Hadrian. It has two leather open pockets. I don't see anything else with it. But it feels really neat. Like a... It feels kind of like eel skin, but not. You know, we know it's not. So, Hadrian said it was genuine python. So, yeah. But unfortunately, my sister can't wear it. And you guys know me. I don't have... I'm, I'm in the market for a python bag, guys. But with the chains like this, if I have it on my shoulders and what have you, it's going to it's gonna hurt my back. So, I need a little more support than that. Yeah, he does. You know why? Because I went shopping today, spent 185 bucks, and I got me another Jiffy. <laughs> I got another Jiffy. My favorite snack in the world, you guys, is peanut butter and bananas or peanut butter and apple slices. And I'm not a huge apple fan. I've got to have the peanut butter on it. But that's what I do. So if anybody's interested in the Python backpack, I'm going to let it go for 85 got the chain it's in beautiful condition I did get it from Hadrian so that's where it came from yeah yeah I mean <laughs> I love it you know I'm not really gonna grab anything else in the middle of the night when I'm feeling snacky you know I'm not gonna grab this is beautiful I wish I could put it on my back. Okay. <clears throat> the last but not least that's in that tote. I lied. There's something else here, but it's the surprise bag. The vintage Dooney. Let me see the inside. 
needs wiped out a little bit because why? Because it looks like it's full of freaking pen marks. So I remember getting this and popping it in there. But oh my god, I love the handle. Look at the handle. Look at this. Big, thick, pebbled. Now this bag might be a little handbag, a little for me, but it's big, thick leather. It is, it's heavy. Dee Dee, this would be heavy. It'd be real heavy on your shoulder. It's heavy just holding it. It's a heavy, heavy bag. Well, I can get the pen marks out. So it says Dooney and Burke, 1975. So get the tag poo poo. It does have oh hey. Here we go. So it does have the canvas inside. Look at the little bitty tag. Then of course it has the old school flippy fong thing, you know, the mace mace holder. So this is J0926615. She's an oldie, but a goodie. So this feels like genuine cow leather. Because it's not it's not Florentine. This is not the Florentine. So this just feels like cow leather. A beautiful little tab. And look at that one. Nice handbag. I should have stuffed it up so you can see her in all her glory. But if you're interested in the vintage Dooney, I will clean up the inside. She's 95. They are expensive. But, in all fairness, because I'm a rookie, there you go. She is in fabulous, fabulous condition. She is marked 1975. Oh. And that is number 16. It's a gorgeous bag. Python. It's 85. Okay. Did I show you guys? Vicky, did I show you what I did to my Mark Jacobs collection tote? Right there. I took the, the ink out, but I took out the color too. So I have to color match it and fix it. Look at this beautiful princess. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah, her's gonna get rehabbed. Yeah, yep, that's a mustard Balenciaga. It's got rose gold hardware. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. So, I have here, um, let me go get my tape measure. I got empty tote here. But... So every time I shove this bag, my email blew up. I'm going to get my get my tape measure. I think I know where it's at. I think it's right here. It's on the shelf. I know it's on the shelf. Tape measure. Tape measure. Where are you? Here it is. All right, so 
It is 11. Go corner to corner. By 13 and a half. And to be fair, I'll run it right here, right here, to here to here. Four, and you know it's going to go wider. Um, I'd have to ask Hadrian. He sold it to me. <laughs> but she's going to get a facelift. Because see, she's got that spot. She's got color transfer on the back. She's very dry. She needs a drink. But it has the rose gold. But this is going to be a project. Um, yeah, this is one Hadrian had. I bought it from him the other night. It just arrived today. So I've never had a Balenciaga. So I'm going to elicit a professional help. I'm going to have Vicky <laughs> help me with this. Because I don't, I don't want to mess it up. And I might mess it up. And I don't want to mess it up. Oh, well, now we got matching velo bags. Okay. <laughs> so, Mickey, you're not going to believe what I found. You guys are not going to believe it. She is giant. She is large. She's in charge. She is rare. She is the vintage Brooklyn in Aubergine. Look at this baby. <laughs> she still got her hang tag. Her gold tone hardware is still fabulous. Check is she's a monster. Absolute monster. <sighs> Very Mark Jacobs vibes, man. But I'm fairly certain. Isn't she absolutely amazing? Now look at the size of this bag of stuffing. <laughs> Coming out of her. She is perfect on the inside. And she is hitting me in the face. This is no joke. Check this out. So. She has a zipper pocket. And just two open pockets. Oh. I had to go through all that. And I could have just did this the whole time. <laughs> this is an absolute fan favorite. Every single time I bring it out. And every single time I would have I always said. Heck no, I ain't selling that, baby. But she is as big as... She's actually ooh, bigger. She's bigger than a Dooney Smith. So, weight-wise... <laughs> oh, my God. She's a lot bigger than a Dooney Smith. Check this out. I just thought the Dooney Smiths were big. <laughs> a lot bigger than the Dooney Smith. Jeez. Jeez, Louise. Big old front pockets. She's a suitcase. I'm not kidding. <laughs> now, her creed reads... K0782 dash 999999. Isn't that weird? She's big. She's authentic. And then Aubergine. <laughs> if you can carry her, man. So I haven't tried, but it looks like if we got this under here. We might be able to make her larger. 
because, dang, I would cross body her. I would have to cross body her just to carry her normal. But yeah, this would be the coolest carry-on bag ever. <laughs> the size. I filled a Goodwill bag with stuffing. <laughs> Ugh, great. So she's perfect inside and out. That was the surprise bag. It was in that tote. I almost had a heart attack when I come across it. Coach there in the back. Beautiful. There's a tag. Here's the bottom of her. <laughs> she is bigger than the Smiths and is just as heavy. Make no mistake. Heavy. Isn't she cool? So, with her, um, I have found her in different colors on some weird sites. I didn't find her on eBay. I didn't find her. Uh, it, it was uh, a different kind of site from overseas and they wanted... Even the conversions, I'm not sure. But if anybody is interested, I won't let her go for any less than 300 So, otherwise she's going to stay with me. So there you go. So I'm going to open up the floor now. I had all that. I had all that in one tote. Except for, you know, well, of course, I didn't have the, the Brahmin in the top, but the rest of that stuff was in the tote. So, beautiful. So, there you guys go. So, throw some stuff at me. What would you like to see? I'm going to open up the floor. I was going through the crystal on my shelf that I have in the kitchen, I have a shelving unit that Vicki helped me set up with crystal. And one of them is a Waterford. Do you want to see it? Oh, what? She was excited. Oh, Valerie. <laughs> That's funny. Marking her territory. I, I only did that once, you know, in Hadrian's show. <laughs> <laughs> I had it all said and I think I think I just because I have big thumbs little phone I just I hit that send before I should have <laughs> I was excited did you guys want to see the Waterford piece I found Yeah, I remember you talking about, I think you talked about that once. She's massive. Show you guys this water for her. Isn't she pretty? She's good. Whoever had it, I'm still working on it.
<laughs> so this is the sticker. It says Waterford Glass Crystal made in the Republic of Ireland. And down along here, right here, you can see it, it says Waterford. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. So it is marked Waterford. Isn't that beautiful? So that was just on the shelf. So I have a lot like this in the boxes. So, so if anybody's interested in a piece of Waterford, I will let it go for 60 bucks. Oh, uh, I found you too. Yeah. Should put some water down in there. I hope you guys don't see that as a reflection of, you know, but whoever had it, um, burned a candle in it. So it took me a lot to get it out. So, I, did you guys see the, the etching? It's right here above my finger. You can barely see it. Maybe I can. It says Waterford. So it's beautiful. And I have a, a lot like this. Um... The glasses I've been drinking out of, good grief. I'm probably, yeah, sitting on a, I told you guys, I didn't know what I had. And when I started looking up there, because I was like, well, I wanted to do a little variety and what have you. Because um, I haven't done any variety. I only had one pair of shoes. Um, and I never noticed the sticker. When I seen the sticker, I started looking at it, and I went, oh, my God, there it is. <laughs> so, I picked this up at the local Habitat for Humanity. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know what I had. I just liked, I just put flowers in it, and, I, you know, I never bothered to even try to get the rest of the candle residue out the bottom. <laughs> Well, you know, when you don't know what you have, you don't pay attention. I have so much glass and crystal that, you know, it comes to a point where mm -hmm, that you, you never, never know. You want to see the new Smith, Deborah? Absolutely, I will show you. It's not stuffed up or anything, but yes, ma'am. Always happy to show off my duties. Oh, by the way, ladies, I got two. That one but two brand new Dooney bucket bags coming along with Dooney purse charms. Only two though, because the purse charms are ridiculously expensive. There we go. <laughs> no, you don't. 
Yeah, see? $398. <laughs> and this is in a beautiful, I do believe it is, yeah, Bordeaux. I haven't even taken the thingies off. Brand new. It smells so good. So it has everything. You've got your Dooney, uh, you know, dust bag. You got your paperwork, all that good stuff. I got all the paperwork. So you can register it. They like it when you register them. Registration number 1343572493. No, the dust bunnies in there are free from the paper. There you go. This even thing even come off the little, what you call it? So she's brand new. She's large in charge. I'm going to put all the bits and bobs back in there. So it has a zipper, a big open pocket. I love, love, love my Dooney Smiths. You guys never know me to be without one. <laughs> so I now have three, which I don't need. It is a beautiful bag. This is the Florentine Mother. looked at some of the Smiths. Have you guys looked at some of the Smiths? Like, brand new Dooney Smith retail is, what, 400 bucks. It's $398. So I went, I'm, I'm looking on eBay. I'll check every once in a while. Um, They've got them on there for like 600 bucks. 450, 660, 500. And I'm laughing because they retail for three hundred ninety-eight dollars, the proven point. What the heck is wrong with people? <laughs> the tags are hanging on it. Why would you charge double what the tag is? I mean, really. So yeah, three hundred ninety-eight retail. It's brand new. I will send the shipping for free for three hundred. That's kind of the, I want to get rid of that one. <laughs> but I will ship it for free. Because I am just as in love with my chocolate. Or even the older. I don't even know what color that is. It's like a greeny, gray, browny, cool. I'm good with it. Yeah, greed. Greed has to be. Yeah. Well, there you go. So I have three customer choice. I have three. Yes, yes, ma'am. I have this one, that one, and then I have the border. Yeah, Bordeaux. <laughs> so yeah, I have three of these, like three all together, not three of the Bordeaux. Thank you, Delia. So that one, that toad is all I was able to pull out. Now I do have, I mean, if anybody's good with paint, I do have a Mark Jacobs collection tote in there that I'm willing to let go for a fairly decent price. I'd say 95 because there's a little spot that needs to be touched up because 
when I was formulating what I needed to remove ink, it took the ink right off, but man, it took the paint right with it too. So there's a spot like that right on the front. But otherwise, the bag is in amazing condition. It is a collection that is made in Italy. And my goodness, I need to be slapped for that. Um, I should have known. I didn't check when I was mixing that. The the one of the chemicals was alcohol-based and I... Or acetone-based and I didn't catch it. So, yeah. So, Kim's got a little damaged right there. And that is the only damage on this beautiful, gorgeous bag. So, can't believe it. So, but holler out, ladies, whatever you would like to see. Are you kidding? No more totes? Can I have totes? I do have a, um, I do have my suede. I have a suede tote, guys, a Claire Vivier. Um, do I have totes? Are you kidding me? I think most of what I have is totes. <laughs> so it just depends on kind of what you want to see. I bought a brand new um, Portland leather tote. I have that. I still have my Kuyana. Kuyana? Kuyana tote. I haven't carried that in a hot minute. I have the Kuyana. Is it, am I saying that right? Kuyana. Um. Yeah, I still I have a Madewell fold over tote. Um. Yeah, just kind of. You gotta let me know what you want to see. That's why I open up the flow. Open up the flow. No. That sounded worse than what it was. It was just a chain <laughs> inside. I don't want to put some of these back in here so we can move around. <laughs> hey, I hear you. I hear you. But now that Christmas is over, I'll be moving out of the purple Dooney and into the bag Vicky got me for Christmas. So I'll be moving into that one. I was going to move into the other Dooney in the eggshell. Or is that eggshell or eggplant? No, it's not eggplant. Whatever color that is. Um... Was gonna do that, uh, but then Vicky sent me a bag that I want to move into. This is giant. Wow! I like how you can fold it up. You can fold this baby up. It is so wide. You can fold it up without even messing with the handles. Was the name of the purple Dooney? It looks like mine. Mm, I think I just call them a satchel. I'd have to look it up. Huh. <sighs> I will have to pull the paper around and look. I'm not entirely sure. But when I was looking for my Christmas bag, I went on to ilovedooney.com because that's where I bought it. Um, and I just typed in large Florentine satchel. Um, on the site, it just says um, large pebbled, uh, large satchel. Yeah. Mm. 
Yeah, got the longer straps. But I do, I think it just said large uh, pebble leather satchel. I would look it up, but then it's going to knock off the live. <laughs> I don't want to do that. This is drying even more. This is looking even a whole lot better. It's starting to dry more. See? Now it's looking a whole lot more, a whole lot better. It's starting to dry. <laughs> the purple. Yeah. Hey, did you guys like how I did the... Uh, yeah, that's the tie. Using it as a twilly. Do you guys like how I did that? It's coming down. So. Yeah, I've got the paperwork for it. In one of these drawers. Might be over there. Hold on. Yeah, she she's large. But they have this in the smaller. But I, I do believe the smaller run, the smaller ones run, I do believe on sale, 135. Because I have the smaller one. Um, I think that... Where did I, I think I put it in here? Because I put it up. Let me check it over here. Yeah, not that room. Yeah, I put it up. It might be a still... Oh, here it is. So, this one looks exactly like it. Probably a little more your speed. It's still not real small. I mean, for it being... But this one... Yeah, it's just called Satchel. <laughs> An oyster. And this is the small. Could be the mini. Large... I do believe this one is the small. So it's not really telling me. So I think these are just satchels. The small oyster satchel with all the tags on it says. Yeah. Hmm. But they do have minis. Which is a little bit smaller than this one. And they look exactly the same. Same quality. You've got your all-weather leather. You know, the all-weather leather, you guys know, doesn't have to be green. They do all-weather leather in different colors. So I've got the all-weather leather in oyster. This is an all-weather all -weather bag. All-weather. And so is this purple one. This is also... In all weather. So this one, Dee Dee was telling me more about it. Because the oyster, because I'm like, it looks different colors. But it, I guess it changes colors from like what you got on. It, it's a huge change a little bit. But it's really cool. But I do have two buckets coming. So, I mean, I've bought these. So I got a... Uh, a special coupon and I couldn't I couldn't help myself I had to get some buckets so that's coming in I've got it coming in blush and 
I want to say cranberry. That's not right. Um, yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's not a Twilly. It is a... This is one of those... Hannah warned me about selling. This is actually a Gucci men's tie. I bought two of these, and then I have a Fendi. This is actually a men's tie. And if you guys want, you know, it's, I've got it going here, down over here. And then it comes through to show the, the logo. So if you guys want tomorrow, I will put a little video on how I did that. Because I did it, I wanted to do it, well, not even to show it off because you know how us women are. But I did not want to cut up a Fendi tie and I did not want to cut up a Gucci tie. I didn't want to do it. I don't have a man or whatever, but I was able to find these ties. I got two Gucci ties for $10. I got a Fendi tie for $10 and I was not about to cut them up. So that's how I did it. Um, I tried it with some other bags. It works, you know, when you have, but I mean, I will, it, it's quite simple, but I, you know, it worked out quite well because I like how it flat hangs over. And then I got my little charm I got from Karen right here. So, yeah. But I was talking to somebody, and they told me, well, the, you know, I don't get the all-weather leather doonies because of the green. I don't like the green. And I'm like, um, you can get them in different colors. <laughs> yeah, I seen your, your barrel one. That was very pretty. The burgundy one and a mini red. I do have a Florentine Dooney that I've had up that I haven't shown you guys up in, you know, my closet. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the Twillies, um, they're not really Twillies. I have, I don't really buy Twillies. Um, I think I showed you guys this the other day. Um, I come across them and they're, they're too good a deal like this one is not really you know I don't pay the Twilly prices I think that this one I loved the colors in it but it's also very sparkly I do believe this might be off a robe a size small robe or something like that or a blouse don't care I'll make it work you know, for 25 cents, I'll make it work. Um, and here's the, the Fendi tie. I'm not, I'm not going to cut it up. Yeah. I mean, some of you guys are, you know, are married and what have you. Um, you know, truth be known, guys, I've never, I've never bought a Twilly. The Twillies that I have were given to me as free gifts with purchases or something like that. Here's the other Gucci. So, yeah. I don't, hmm, I don't. I don't sew. <laughs> so. But, you know, now if these were just regular ties and I just like the fabric, it's a little bit different. Um, but these are not. These are Gucci and Fendi, and I'm not taking a pair of scissors to them and sewing them. I'm not doing all that, so. There you go. <clears throat> so I just kind of use, you know, decorate my bags with what I have, and... There's no point in it, especially if what I have is high end. Now the the scarves that I have up here, I don't know if I showed you guys. I had one tied around my head. 
And these are inspired. They're not real. They're not real. They are inspired. And a lady on Poshmark sent these to me. Because she watches the show. She's a beautiful lady. And you guys have probably seen that from the other night. And then there's this one. Because I needed a different bandana. Because beautiful Vicky. I have a Gucci um, that needs a new bandana. But it's Gucci inspired. So things like that. I don't go and spend, you know... For the decorations and all that. I, I don't I don't do that. I spend enough money on the bags, you know. So there you go. You know? And I will I you know, I will now that Karen sent me this beautiful thing, it'll free me up so I don't have to, you know, I'll be able to actually this thing goes higher than me. I can angle it and then I can show you guys like right there how I did that. So, you know, it's not. So, I mean, it's quite simple. To do the, to do the front. Wow. Seven times. Yeah, I caught that too. <laughs> I caught that too. <laughs> Woo, you are busy. Busy. Woo. And you know, my scarf. That's not a Burberry. It's made in Germany. It's that Fraz, Fraz, or whatever. But it looks exactly like a Burberry, but it's not a Burberry. So, you know, who cares? Like I said, I spent enough money on my bags. I will sport the real deal in the bags. Um, you know, but decorating them and stuff like that. Seven sons for seven daughters or seven brides for seven sons. There's an old movie. Agreed. I have three sons. And now I have one daughter. Well, I actually, I have four sons because I'm technically still married and two daughter in laws. But yeah. So isn't that pretty? So I have the Gucci bag that Vicky sent me. I'm hoping this is going to be long enough. But it had a tear in it. <laughs> what else do you guys want to see? Wow. <laughs> You're hoping for lots of daughter-in-laws? Mm -hmm. I had a couple of extra daughter-in-laws, too, that I'm glad are no longer daughter-in-laws. They were some crazy, crazy, crazy ladies. <laughs> yeah. I would say a 25. I would say a 25. If you've got the insert for a 25, a 30 I think would be too big. It, it's yeah, it's not a it's not a real big 
speedy style. Yeah, I think that one that one will be perfect for you. I got some fabric mender and what have you, and I will seal that up for you. Yeah, I th yeah, it's not a thirty. No, oh, you're welcome. It's no big deal. I don't even remember how it got there. Like I said, it was probably in with a, a bag. I do have quite a bit of stuff coming. I think you'll like it. I don't have um, like a, what do you call that? The stuff on the side there, edge coat. Um, I don't, it doesn't look like that has edge coat. I don't have a color to match that, but I can certainly seal it. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> you know, that'd be a fun... Ooh! Uh. Hi, everybody. It says I'm now live. Was I talking to myself? Did it... What? <laughs> Is your four-year-old younger than your grandchildren? Brian, the four-year-old, is my grandchild. Okay. Yeah, Brian's not my son. He's my grandson. That's Jeremy's son. Six brothers. You know, my sons used to fight so bad. I got mad and I, I went over to the local Walmart when they were younger and I bought boxing gloves. I took them home. I opened the sliding glass door and I kicked all of them outside and put, I, and I threw the boxing gloves at them and I said, now duke it out. You can't come inside until you guys can stop. Until you just beat each other to a pulp. Then you can come back inside. That seemed to work for a little while. <laughs> oh, Evangelist has a four-year-old. Oh. I am talking to myself. Good grief. <laughs> what do you guys want to see? I have got the floor open. You guys can see whatever you would like. Is there any questions out there? Anything from what can be sourced, where it can be sourced, how I clean things, ask questions. It's a pajama party. Take the floor. <laughs> I do too. They're fun. You wish I knew? Well, throw, well, do you like, let's see, do you like Coach? Do you like Mark Jacobs, Mark Jacobs Collection? Do you like Fendi? Do you like, let's see, Alexander Wang? Um, what do we got just hanging in here? Hmm. I got a coach with butterflies. I have, you name it, I got it. Mm-hmm. The vintage leather coat bags, uh, the coach, I do believe these ladies have bought, I will check, but I do have, you're, are you talking about the suede, the vintage suede and I think, I know what you're talking about there.
think you are talking about this, right? Miss Dooney? I do have one more. I sold, I had two crossbody Tory birches in the last sale. I sold the envelope style. I do have the bigger accordion style. Yeah, isn't this cool? Oh, isn't this is just rocker vibes. And also, you guys, you know, I've been working on this one. This one's had a second treatment. Look at her. She's still being stubborn and dark underneath. So I was able to stop the cracking there. She's very soft. The leather is very soft. There you go. <laughs> So that she's had two treatments. Don, I'll send you an email. You're gonna die when you find out. Yes. <laughs> this is cool. This is the coolest Dooney ever. I'm telling you, it is very cool. Very vintage, very hippie chick. Like, yeah. give Hadrian for this. Oh my goodness. I think I paid up for this one. You're not going to find another doing it like this bad boy. And it comes with it's got its own little thingy in here. The inside is there you go. Gorgeous. It's perfect on the inside. Claim. This is the best. There you go. I think the only thing with this Dooney is I need to kind of the zipper works just fine. It's just a little, it's a little hard. So I need to there we go. Wax it up. Because she gives you fits. If she's not stuffed, she gives you fits. But it's fine. But it's very bitey. So. I'm good. Go ahead and email me. One of a kind, that one. And these are Karen charms. Well, this is my chain, but this is a Karen charm. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah, I about had a heart attack when Hadrian showed that. I was all over it. You guys remember that? Was that the bag? I think this was the bag that I broke the rules and said, me, 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 my, 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 me, me, before he even, <laughs> I think that's the bag. What else do you guys want to see? I think the only other Louis Vuitton I have left is my Speedy. I think that's the only one I have left. So, this is awesome. So, when I got this one, she was very dry. I was afraid to, you know, squeeze her. Because I thought she was going to crack. And I seen the peeling. And it was just doing bad things under my fingers. 
so now that I got her leather there, I'm going to give her canvas one more treatment, and then I'm going to hit it with the uh, Brasso. The handles need another treatment. But she is saved. She is saved. Yeah, I actually... The, the Alma bag I got from Miss Ann. I was working on that. And a hundred million rags later. You know. It's just certain ways you got to do to do it. I mean that is. Um, that's not color. That's dirt. Um, you know. You can't just. When they're old like that. You can't just use leather conditioner. It'll lift some off. But it's not going to deep clean. So this is, all of this is just off of one handle. So, I, I mean, it's meticulous. It, it takes hours and hours. And this was just to dry it off just a little bit, you know, so it doesn't stay wet. So, <clears throat> you know, a little bit of food for thought, ladies. Non-alcohol. You're going to grab one of these. Okay, and you're going to, because these aren't real wet, um, so you're going to take a little saddle soap. Let me show you. I'm just going to show you. I'll be right back. If you do not get all the chemical off your leather, it's going to do that. So, let's pick. Okay, so these, this, all right, on this one, on this bag, they're darker. Let's do this. Okay. Okay, so you're going to get <clears throat> a whole bunch of these. Cut up a very soft t-shirt in white. Um, make it really, really soft. Go to the store, get Fruit of Loom, whatever. Make sure it's super soft. Cut it into long strips. Then for your canvas, you're going to get... <sighs> Might as well show you. show you guys all my secrets we might as well it's a pajama party i'll show you 62 people watching 62 people gonna know my secret all right so what i'm about to show you is going to remove not only years of dirt it's going to remove smoke right if you if you get one that's got smoke on it or stinks if it's musty cracking or whatever all right, so this one's a little wet, so we're not going to use that. I should have grabbed a different. Should have grabbed a different one. We'll use this. Okay, so you got your dry towel. Bring it up. 
Rick and roll now, Louis behind you is mine. I just called. <laughs> I'm still working on that one, but you can email me. Um, I'm either going to get rid of this one or I'm going to get rid of the Speedy. I'm not sure. See this, guys? And it has to be this one. Nothing with chemicals, nothing with scents, nothing. All right, so. All right, so that one's already been treated. I have not treated the canvas on my, my Anna bag. And as you're, it's meticulous. You're going to take just a little bit, a little bit. So with the, the Louis Vuitton canvas, what they don't tell you is, is a lot of people take um, their leather cleaner and, or, or whatever, the Cadillac, things like that. And they do their leather and then they just wipe off the canvas. Well, after a while, what that does is it breaks down the coating on the canvas and that's where you get the peeling and what have you. This is going to prevent that. So... <laughs> So you're just going to dab it. Let me get closer here. On there. And, and you're going to meticulous. It's meticulous and you're going to go lightly because you want. This isn't a real soft. You're just going to. Sorry. I'm just going to dab. See that? Look. Now that that part is dirty, if that part is dirty, once you see any kind of dirt, you're going to fold it, you're going to move it, and you're just going to keep going, and you're going to keep going over that section until it goes clean. Now what it does, see, I know Don don't smoke, so I ain't worried about that. But it will lift smoke right off of it. It's good old-fashioned Lubriderm. And what it's going to do is it's going to make, because it actually... And right here. Now, you see, see the difference? Now, with this, the only drawback to doing this is, is you have to make sure you meticulously get it all off. Um, because it will leave a um, lotion haze on it. So, I'm just going to and you're just going to keep moving to a different square. You're going to go through with this bag, I'll probably go through 40 wash rags. But, I mean, you know, that that's what they're there for. So, it's right there in the corner. See it? Look at that. Can you tell the difference? Top and bottom. That's where I did it. What this is going to do is it's going to it's going to clean it. It's going to keep it soft and supple so it doesn't get dried out. It's not going to crack. Um, and it's going to keep it clean. So you want to do that maybe once every other month. Then you'll take a clean part of a soft rag. And you just, after you know it's clean, you just want to make sure you've got all the lotion off. It's a labor of love. It, you know, but I mean, <laughs> it's worth it. Ta-da. Look at that. Look how dark the LV part is compared to the bottom. Well, I mean, they get dirty. You go outside. We'll do a part like right in the middle so you can kind of see. So again, I'm going to just take, it takes just a very little bit, and I mean a little bit. 
You don't want to douse your bag. So, we'll do a bigger spot so you can kind of... And I'm just lightly... I'm just making sure it's off. See? Can you tell the difference? That circle? <laughs> okay. So you want your, and then you're going to take very soft white cotton. And it's, you want it a little damp. You don't want it wet, clearly. So what that does is you'll notice that your your Louis Vuitton bag is, is very soft and pliable. Okay. Let's get a real bad spot here. Here we go. Right. There. It is as dark as it looks. So... You're going to take your saddle soap and you're going to fight to get it open. Well, I do. I have to fight every time. I don't know why. I, I shove it on there very tight and then I can't get it off. Oh, okay, got it. So it has to have no alcohol in it. So I grab some out of the middle. I'm going to take a little saddle soap. And then I'm going to rub it together until I can hear it kind of foaming. And then I'm just going to Rub it where it's really dark. And it's going to be kind of the same way. Once it gets dirty, you want to switch angles. And I use the baby wipes because one, there's no alcohol in it and they're real gentle but two you don't it's got like just the right amount of moisture um because you don't want to wet them Look at that but i mean i don't mind sharing look at that so, I mean, it, it's not the color coming off. Make no mistake, that's, you know, hand hand uh, dirt and stuff like that. Now, the only thing this will do, so depending on how far you want to go, just make sure you do it evenly and, do you know, be meticulous with it. But the more treatments you get it, the lighter the vachetta leather is going to get. So, if you like the honey patina... And you don't like it looking brand new, then I would stop at maybe two or three. Especially if they're this dark. So, and then you're just going to want to grab one of the other ones you pulled out. So you want to get all the soap off. So I just take another...
and you don't want to rub or you want to make sure you don't you want to make sure you don't scratch or anything like that go real gently with it so then I take my damp cloth just to make double sure then I've got all the dirt and debris I'm going to get pulled off of there and make sure there's no more saddle soap on the handle. Very gently. And then I'm just going to gently There you go. So now that is wet, and of course it's compromised, and it looks really, really dark because it's been got moisture put into it. So, then you're going to take leather CPR. Do not let it dry after you clean it without doing this because saddle soap is very drying. It'll, it'll, yeah, it'll be extremely dry. And I douse it. Real good dollop of leather CPR. Cadillac is fine. That's what you got. The Apple stuff. Um, I like the leather CPR. I've had good luck with it. You see what's happening there. It's pulling more stuff off. Because you have to let it air dry and not handle it, but you can't. You have to condition it before you let it go. Put that there. Let it dry. So there's some of my little secrets. What do you guys think of that? On your leather legacy bag? Vintage leather? Absolutely. Um, depending on if it's the vintage leather, I wouldn't do the mop. You all right there, buddy? The modern stuff with that. There you go. Screenshot that because that's what you need. Go to good old Walmart. Get the unscented. No alcohol, non-greasy stuff. But it has to be the Lubriderm. I wouldn't get adventurous, guys. Just get the Lubriderm. <laughs> I do have... I do have one more Tory crossbody. Yeah, absolutely, Dee, Dee. You can do that. I think. Let me throw this away. Okay. I think I have one Tory Birch left. You guys do it. You guys want to go out? Go outside while I'm, while I'm up? You guys can go outside really quick. Come on, go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. Go outside. I do believe I sold all my Tory Birches in the last week. I do have. I still have the accordion crossbody. It's beautiful. It's got the lovely chain. You can wear it as a handbag. Or you can do a crossbody. 
if I do it right. There we go. I like to carry them like that. I think that's pretty. That's me. Inside is gorgeous. It's beautiful. No, no, Ziggy Dog. Beautiful on the inside. You have a zipper pocket. There's your toy birch. I don't know if you can see in there. There you go. <laughs> we lost a few people. Maybe they didn't want to learn how to clean their dooney or clean their um, Louis Vuittons. There you go. There. And there you go. And I found with the Dooney's guys, especially the Florentine, the leather CPR is fantastic. Um, but you know, with the Florentines, you don't have to if you don't have anything like that. If you're watching a movie or whatever and you've got some scratches, if you sit and you just rub it with your fingers, just rub that scratch, the oils. And they encourage that. Um, the oils from your skin will rub away the scratches. Trust me, you'll get sore fingers and what have you. I, I tested that theory. It works. It works beautifully. But dang. <laughs> so, but I just found with the Dooney leather that the leather CPR works just dance the circles around the Cadillac when it comes to the Dooney all weather yeah so you got your Dooney right now with the regular um, leathers, you would use the leather CPR in your doonies. But with your Florentines, you could be sitting in just like, because you know they're going to scratch and patina. If you don't care for a scratch that's on there, you can just, just sit and do that. Isn't it beautiful? That arrived today. It did. It's like one of the soft, puffy. It's beautiful. Love it. Oh, okay. They're going to go bark at things in the middle of the night. That was great. They went to bed. <laughs> I got my cart from Hadrian. <laughs> well, you know, it's the, the Dooney Florentine leather. Um, that is all that's really going to work on. I, but... You never know, but it's the real soft Florentine leather, the, you know, the smooth leather. So, I mean, <laughs> but I mean, it, it works, but so does a leather CPR. So, I mean, it, yeah, it, the leather CPR works beautifully. So, you have, like this one, it's old, it's older, what have you. When I got this, um, when I first got it, it was, I mean, ugly. It, you know, and I got it for the deal that I got it for, um, because they just said it was ugly and irreparable. So, and all I did 
was take a little other CPR and just, just, you know, give it a minute and let it go. And it looks brand new. Here. And they go. They will go. <laughs> Jeremy carries bags too. But he's also got a four year old. Oh. My husband wouldn't get caught dead carrying one of my bags for me. He'll now he'll push a cart. He would push a cart, like a grocery cart or something, with my bag in the front of it. But he wouldn't actually carry my bag for me. See how beautiful that turns out? Yeah. Yeah. That is definitely love. All right, go on, go on, no, 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 no. You know, you come in here, you'll be stepping on bags. We're not having that. Navajo rugs? I have not seen Navajo rugs. I've not. Yes, yeah, so she's got a good one. Jeremy is a sweetheart. Jeremy would carry my bag. My husband would not carry my bag. Mm. No, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I take it Sarah wants to say hi, everybody. Yeah. No, Sarah, you can't get up here. There's bags up here. No, no. Yeah, you'd have to send pictures out. Do you make them? Well, there you go. You start with um, an upholstery cleaner. Um, Arm and Hammer works fine. Just don't get the oxy stuff that's going to pull color out. Then while it's still um, damp, you're going to hit it with... I hit mine with the Bath and Body Works um, linen hand sanitizer because it's got an extremely high alcohol content. Um, it works better than isopropyl alcohol, uh, and it doesn't leave, I found that sometimes with the, the red lining in the dunies, um, the red, the alcohol will pull too much of the color out, and then you've got, like, when it dries, some little pink spots or pink streaks in there, you can tell where it pulled the color out. Where the Bath and Body Works, the hand sanitizer, just in the linen, it's got the highest alcohol content, but it's not going to, um, pull the color out, it's but when you dampen the inside of a red dooney, it bleeds. So. But that's how I get the ink stains out. And the coaches that I sold, that's how I did it. I got Sarah here. <laughs> She's as close as she can. I'm going to let her get. What else do you guys want to know? You're welcome, Polly. No worries. <gasps> you weave the rug yourself. Ooh, Jennifer. Sarah is 
Well, the lady taupe that I got her from, um, when we rescued her, said t- around, she thinks she's 10. Um, the vet thinks anywhere in between 8 to 10 months. So, come here, sir. Come here. Let them want to see you. Come here. Come up here. Come here. Come here. Just come right here. I'm not going to let you get on the couch. There you go. Come here, baby. Come here. She's just sitting there. Look at the camera, baby. Sarah, they're not, she's not going to cooperate. <laughs> uh, you know what? I had the invoice in my hand. I do believe I got him for 135 Yeah, I think... Yeah, wasn't it 135 guys? For the Kurt Geiger? Yeah. With the Kurt Geiger though, you know, it's um uh, it's brand new with tags. So you betcha. I was happy. It's a great deal. Well, Jennifer, I mean, if you want to sell them, let me know. Just for local people. Oh, well, that's a bummer because we'd like to see it. We're all friends here. We would support. We would so support you. You know that these guys here will tell you I'm very I'm very flighty. I am yeah. <laughs> yeah, do send pictures. We would love to support. You know, he also sent me today I got the Mark Jacobs, uh the pink crossbody, the little one. I got the J.W. Anderson nose ring one. That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> you local on your channel? The, this one? This is a new Tory Burch. She's 125. She's accordion style. She's brand new. Um, he's on tomorrow night. At, well, I'm Central Standard Time. So to me, it's midnight. But it's 10 p.m. Do I, am I saying right? Pacific Standard Time. It's, it's Hadrian. If you go on my channel and you go down to my subscriptions, he's on there. The nose ring one, the J.W. Anderson. It's cool, man. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh, Karen, are you going night night? Night, Karen. We love you, Karen. No, 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 puppy. No, no. We're not we're not eating baby wipes. We're not doing that. No. Did you get into the garbage, little one? This bag is so cool. <laughs> I forget what he said it was. It's called the piercing bag. Happy New Year to you all. We lo I love you guys too. Crossbody strap is, strong, is longer than that. I just had it folded over.
It's beautiful. And it says here, J.W. Anderson. Me. Yeah, I get some Tories. I don't really hold on to the Tories. They were never really, you know, like my favorite brand to hold on to for like myself. Um, but people love them. They're wildly popular. The black bag with the looks like a dragon head. Yeah, that's the Kurt Geiger. Yeah, that arrived today, too. I had a bit of a chuckle earlier, you guys, as I was checking out this bag. <laughs> it says, Kurt Geiger, Lo London, and then it says, I'm leather. Well, I'm like, well, all righty then. <laughs> I'm glad you are. <laughs> yeah, she's a beauty. Yep, yeah, that's a Kurt. That's a big one, too. And this is a Balenciaga. Just going to get a facelift. Then we have the Anna bag, the Miss Ann bag. And this one was tore up from the floor up. <coughs> Good night, Evangelist. Love you. <laughs> So this is my one and only J.W. Anderson in my collection and my one and only Balenciaga in my collection. So yeah. When the live is over, I put down, I'll put in like, here's what's left and I'll number what's left and I'll put the prices in. Um, so when you when you get done with a live and it and it uploads it uploads private, I don't know why. So I have to unprivate it, and then as you're watching over the next twenty minutes after that, I'll start adding in what's left, um, and then just you just have to keep kind of looking until I'm done, you know, putting it in there. But I I will throw the the replay out quickly, and then start adding what's left. So. But if you know, if you have any questions or what have you, my email information, everything to find me is in the description box. Because I do miss things. I do. Sometimes I forget. Put it in there. So. Pauline, it's coming beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. It was drying the other day, and I hung it up, and it's, yeah, it's right there. <laughs> what bag, you want to recap? I only pulled one tote, so what's for sale tonight? I've got the two Dooney and Burke Smiths. So those two are on sale tonight. I have, let's see, this one is sold, that one is sold, that one is sold. We have the Fry Bag from Fry & Co. Let's see. One sold. I don't think anybody called the vintage coach. Let me get my notes because I'm going to show some a bag that somebody bought. I did that the other day. Oops. Okay.
All right, vintage. Yeah, the vintage yellow coach. This one is 40, and I'm going to give it another clean. So this is available, and this one was number 12. The vintage Dooney and Burke. Mark Dooney and Burke, 1975. This one is $95. And that was number 16. Sorry these aren't stuffed, you guys. Mm -hmm. But these are the ones that I didn't have a chance to set up before the live. Then I have a Coach Tote. This is on clearance for $35 if anybody wants a big old Coach Tote. It has a tang tag. So this is on clearance for $35. Mmm. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I have the Python backpack. Python skin backpack. That's 85. Seafoam B. McCaskey as is. $40. That's a big one. I have a Waterford Crystal Vase for 60 That one's sold. Oh, maybe it didn't. Yeah, okay, that was the Laura. And I've got her buried in the bottom of the tote here. Let me get her. Yeah, she had she had some darkening and she had some dirtiness in the corners that needed cleaned up. So she's drying. But that's the Laura. She's 75. The patent's in beautiful shape. There's no cracking, no peeling, none of that funny business. This her canvas got a little dirty. So the she was number one. The new tags, I have new tags. Brahmin, if anybody likes Brahmin. Some of the newcomers coming in. I have a tote set. New tags, Brahmin. Yeah. Ooh. This is on sale for $195. Oh, the size? Hold on, sweetie, I'll tell you. <clears throat> I will tell you, because I got my little tapey measure here earlier. I will tell you. So she is 13 and a half tall. And then we're just going to go corner to corner, which is a solid 13. And then I'm just going to go from here to here. It's going to be wider, but her base is three and a quarter. She is 75. Oh, she wants to know the price of Smith's. The pre-owned Smith's. Our, our $195 tonight on sale. Or no, $200, I'm sorry. I usually sell them for $225. And the new with tags one is $300. Yeah, these are some expensive puppies. And that one. And then I have one in Bordeaux that's new with tags. Yes, you can. Of course you can. 
You want me just to pick one? They're all the same on the inside. You're welcome. The lint from the air, the paper is free. <laughs> there you go. You got your suede and green, and it has a big all open pocket right here. There you go. Then the other side, you have another open pocket. The zipper. Oh, there you go. There. And then off to the side here is your June Amber tab. Hey, these might, hold on. These might come out. I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. There you go. She is beautiful. These are pre-owned. And then I do have one that's brand new with tags. It's still got the price tag, all that. I got all the paperwork for it. So usually I sell my Dooney Smiths for $225. And I don't know why they ask $600 for them, $400 for them, millions of dollars for them on eBay. I don't, I don't know why. Um, they're just gouging. But... I put mine on sale tonight for 25 bucks off. They're 200 And then I do have one that's new with tags, which is in a Bordeaux, which is in this area. All right, let me see here. Oh, here it is. And this is the one in Bordeaux. It's still all wrapped up. the board oh it's your tags retail price is almost 400 bucks 398 dollars yeah she's brand new i've not used her yet so i have three smiths i'm going to keep one I'm not fussed about each one. I love them all equally. Inside is a blue coach. Yes, you may. and clean there you go no scientific experiments not that funny business you got two open pockets <coughs> excuse me <clears throat> your creed there you go and then there's some paper residue in there that's free You will love it. So, <clears throat> we can't mail anything out until Tuesday. So, it's still kind of wet on the corner. So, if it doesn't clean up like I like it, I will wash it again. Corners had a little bit too much dirt on it for me, you know. So, I gave it a clean. But I only gave it a once over. So. She's gorgeous. She would look brand new. She comes to you. So she's worth it. I found one on eBay. It looked pretty neat. It was the brown and it had like the, the red pattern. 
But not only do they want stupid money for it, but the end sign looked like a scientific experiment, and I couldn't understand why they were charging $99 for it. My goodness gracious. So... <laughs> Actually, yeah, I do have a set of terms and conditions. Um, send me an email and I'll send them to you in the email. No big deal. I have like a, oh, you're welcome. I have like, um, I have it all wrote out. Um, and it's just easier for me to, to reply to your email with the terms and conditions. And if you accept that, then we do that. Yeah. And that's fine. I do that. I know a lot of people don't. Um, I do that because I believe every woman should have the bag that she wants or bags. No judgment. Bags that they want. Um, that that makes them happy and, and that's affordable um i do that i only capped at one time because i literally had ten thousand dollars worth of stock that had been sitting there for months um so i wrote a new set of terms and conditions so if you agree then we're good to go oh uh, no problem roylene really you know it's okay. The only difference is now, if you're going to do something like that or a payment plan or, you know, you need a little bit more time, let me know. Because now the only difference is going to be when I send you, do not lose the original invoice. Because I open that up and I, for you to be able to make payments on it. The only drawback to that is, is every once in a while, PayPal is going to send you a reminder. It's going to drive you crazy. Nah. It does that automatically. I, I think I have that set up automatically and I don't know how to turn it off. But keep a hold of that because you know exactly what you're getting. You know exactly where you're at. Um, you pay on the original invoice. So if something goes wrong, um, what have you. You're protected. I'm protected. You know. Um, if you send them random payments and you don't do it through the invoice... If you guys had any idea how much activity comes in and out of my PayPal account, I miss things. Things could get missed or, you know, payments not logged correctly. So I got to pull up your invoice, got to credit it. It's, and sometimes I miss it. And, you know, this way keeps everybody honest. And, and you know exactly where you're at at all times. Yeah, so don't lose your, you know, I can always resend it to you. If, if, you know, if you need it. So, I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it keeps track. And that's, that's cool. And it eliminates sending fees because sometimes I get some people that'll just pay. Oh, I made a payment. Well, guess what? There's fees and more fees and more fees and more fees. And yeah. Just make sure you keep your original invoice. Oh, okay. I love to trade. You know that, Pauline. Okay. Absolutely, Pauline. Sounds good. I'll look right after the live. All right. Anybody else have any questions, comments, cheap shots? Because we have not had really any trolls at all tonight, have we? Nobody wants to take any cheap shots? <laughs> that was super fun. But yeah, if you guys have questions about how I rehab things, I do not, um, I have not figured out how to sanitize a bag. Um, hmm. I'm still trying to work on that. I know there is some fabric uh, spray that says it has an age in it, but the, uh, as I looked at the ingredients, um, 
on these bags. They say, you know, you can spray it on your bags and sanitize them. It, it's alcohol. So, I'm in Illinois. Are you going to sleep? You're welcome, Riley. No worries whatsoever. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have 50 people in the chat. 46 thumbs up. Helps the channel out immensely. Yeah. We do pajama parties. Um, I, I work full time for Mars Pet Care. I make pedigree dog food and I make cat treats. Um, so I handle the, the shipping to the Walmarts and Roll Kings and things like that. So I handle that end of it. That's what I do. When I'm not working, um, I do the live sales. So they're kind of they're kind of random, but I kind of let everybody know. And I would rather do lives than do the recordings. And let me tell you why. Because my emails go off 24 hours a day, and my phone goes off like all hours of the day and I, when when it's pre-recorded. And then what happens is I end up refunding a bunch of people because people will just go in and they'll pay for an item. But three people will go in and pay for the same item. So that's why I prefer to do it live. Besides, I like to entertain it. Do you need cat treats? I'm always sitting on about three cases. <laughs> I don't have cats. I'm allergic. But they're free. So when I pick up a bag of dog food, they'll be like, here, take this case of Temptations cat treats. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> but I mean it's free so I'm not gonna say no free is free is good okay you do Dee Dee I did not know that Pauline I can check for dog treats last time um, I got back to work Tuesday Tuesday is dog food day so I will see if they got any dog, doggy treats. Um, I usually don't have too many more of those because I gave I had I gave out a bunch. You guys remember that? Um, with my dogs, I don't have too many. Um, but I think I can get you a bag or two. Okay. But I've been putting them in plastic baggies, especially the cat treats, because if you looked at the Temptations container, if I tried to send that, it would bust open. Oh, I'm sorry. The cat treats I can hook you up with right now. The dog treats, we'll ha I'll have to see what I can get. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't bust open. But I'm sitting on, I think, two cases now of the temptation. Yeah. Okay. Dee Dee, Don. You guys pop them in emails so I don't forget. Well, I won't know, Pauline, um, until Tuesday because they don't always offer, you know, a perk of my job is um, once a month I get a big old bag of dog food. Um, and most of the time they're handing out cat treats. Sometimes there's dog treats. So if there's dog treats available on Tuesday, I will get them. But it's free. So I don't. You know, what time is it? It's eleven thirty. Oh, does Hadrian has a live tonight? Are you guys gonna go over there? He's got a live in a half hour. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, that's so sad. 
I have. Yeah. Four. I've got the little Boston Terrier. And then, I, you know, I've met Matilda, the blue healer. She's older now. And then I have Ziggy Dog. He is a terrier, a pit terrier or terrier pit. And then I have the new Sarah who is eating everything in the house. She's, she's a pity. I thought it was tomorrow too, but I just got a notification that says watch it. So I usually get those 30 minutes beforehand. I just got it. See? Yeah. I mean, we can all head over there in a half an hour. Dang, you know. Is it the 30th? I thought it was the 31st. I didn't, I didn't see it. Yeah. Because in... Because I checked this morning, and in, in his channel, it said 31st. Well, he's in California, yeah. Yeah, it won't start for another half an hour. Is it on now? Mm. Yeah. Thirty minutes, yeah. You just got the notification. If you head over the now, because sometimes he's late. If you head over the now, Dee Dee, you could be sitting there for forty five minutes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sweetest guy in the world. Love him to death. But he's not the most punctual. <laughs> yeah, it shows in our own time zone. Yeah. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's not the most punctual. So usually when I see that, you know, if I'm awake. But seeing as I'm up with you guys... You know I'm a week. So, I have classes I gotta take tomorrow, man. They're due at the end of the year. You think I waited till the last minute? You know, how they make me do training classes at work so I can stay OSHA compliant. It's all legal, mom. It's all mumbo jumbo. I like to do it at home. I don't get paid for it, but I can do it at home because I can Google all the answers. <laughs> Cheater! <laughs> but hey, you know, they don't care. Oh, I hope Jeremy's feeling better. These dogs are destroying my basement. Maybe. Let the doggies out. Go potty. But it was super fun. But anyway, with the Louis Vuittons, um, that same concept will work with um, the Leather Fendies, too. It will work quite nice with Leather Fendies. So if you guys have any questions and what have you, let me know. Please don't use tub of towels on them. Don't do that. Tub of towels will eat through the coating on the canvas. <laughs> how did I get started in a resale well <clears throat> it was a purse addiction that had gone wild um, and I was hanging out I, w I was buying um, from 
first trip in. Um, until, you know, I got burned with Isaac Mizrahi was, was the last straw. Um, and then as I was searching one night, um, you know, that, believe it or not, that live that I did with Hadrian, the dual thing, when I said I would do it, the, the, the Christmas thing, I had never, I had never done before. I have only been doing lives for a year. Um, <clears throat> see you, honey. Um, so what happened was, is my addiction had gotten a little out of control. So I wouldn't say out of control. Um, the dark side is, is it was starting to impede on, at the time I didn't know my marriage was in trouble. Um, but it started to be a problem. So I probably amassed about three to 400 bags. Uh, and I thought, well... Maybe I'll get rid of some of them. Um, I had a whole room dedicated and I had, you know, and I liked every single one of them. But I found that I couldn't possibly carry all of them. Um, so I thought, well, I'll get rid of some of the ones that I haven't looked for in a while. And, and that's kind of where it started. Um, and then it just kind of took off from there. Um, I started doing lives. I was doing recordings first. Um, but I found that while I was at work and what have you, a lot of people ask questions and it, it did quite well. Um, but it was, it's hard when it's coming in hot and heavy when, when I'm trying to handle my home life, handle um, work. And things like that. So. It's Hadrian. I-T-S-H-A-D-R-I-N. It's on YouTube. Um, so that's kind of kind of where it started. And then I found. That even though. Doing the recordings is quite successful. And what have you. But I liked interacting. I like to be able to answer the questions. I began to notice that I watched some other purse resellers um, weren't so honest. I started getting some fakes, some that smelled like smoke or perfume. Um, I got quite a few fakes. Uh, you know, or they weren't, they, they weren't honest. So... You know, that that's how that started. And I like doing the lives. And that's just kind of where we're at. So, anyway, guys. Let's head on over there. We've seen all I have to see. I um, love you. I will be there in five minutes. I'm going to yell at my dogs for barking. And I'm going to tinkle. And I will see you there. Love you all.